Yeah, we are back at uh, G11 this year to continue our journey. Uh, we are here at the uh, Hospice de France where we finished last year. You see, last year we had like a half a meter of snow from up there, from the ridge. And now we will look for a campsite. We arrived quite, quite late. I think it gets dark in like 30 minutes. And we will just go up the hill for some meters, maybe an hour look for a good campsite, put up the camp and just sleep because we had a very short night, we've been on wedding the last night and yeah, now we are a bit tired of course. Good morning, this was our first night in the mountains, down there is the Peak de France, where we started yesterday, we uh, arrived quite late um, because we had a long long travel here from Germany. We took a plane to Toulouse and then we went by train to Bagneris de Luchon down there. And yeah, so we just went up a little bit yesterday to find a good camp spot, which we did as you see. It's really awesome. We had a lot of luck because it's what when it was getting dark. We just found this place here and it was very, very windy yesterday. Yeah, even close to a little river. And up there is the Portillon de Benasque. It's even, it's, I think it's behind this ridge, there's another ridge. And from there we will see the Pico Aneto and the Spanish side. We are here on the French side. The last view on the Hospice de France down there. And now we go up over the ridge to reach the higher mountains. the part where we had half a meter of snow last year. Maybe I can show it in the video later. Uh, some pictures from last year. This was really crazy. A lot of ice coming down these walls here and over there is the Porte Long de Benasque. Afterwards we will have a really nice view on the Pico Aneto. Uh, quite interesting there's a small glacier up there the glacier de maledetta and we just saw uh, an image that only 27 years ago 
this glacier I was going down this half of mountain here. It was at least five times bigger than now. It's crazy. We are close to very, very strong thunderstorm of at least one lightning per second. Right now we we are leaving the Male Delta Massif. I think it's the area with the highest mountain in the whole Pyrenees. It was really awesome, but also a very technical, intense trail. We were hiking through the stones, through boulder fields for I think nearly a whole hiking day, and now we are going down to a 
valley to a, on a very easy trail. I think we will pass this valley today and go up in the next mountain range to find a nice camp spot there. Maybe we can catch up some food down there. There's a big refugio. We will see. So fresh again, uh, we had a short bath in a nice mountain lake here and I mean they are pretty warm, I didn't expect that. I think they are about 18 degrees, which is pretty okay. We are still this beautiful forest mountains here. We will look for a camp in the next few kilometers I think. And tomorrow we will uh, get to a spot where we can have a resupply. Entering the next national park. Camping is always uh, forbidden in those and there are a lot of here so you have to take care and plan ahead where to stay overnight. We are close to a spot now where we can get a resupply. I think we have to buy for six days there. So afterwards our backpacks will be really heavy again. But it's very magnificent here. So beautiful.
Yeah, I think from tomorrow on or the day after tomorrow we will hike on the HRP for like five or six days. This is because the G11 goes through a lot of valleys and not so in the mountain area. This is why we decided to do so. We also heard that this is a very, very nice section of the HRP through whole Andorra, I think. But it's also very remote. This is why we carry like six to seven days of food right now. Uh, so we have really, really heavy bags again, unfortunately. This doesn't feel so great, but we will get used to it, I think. Um, yeah, the other funny thing is that we found the last gas supply yesterday here in S-Bot. And this is why we had to buy two big cartridges of gas for the next 16 or 17 days. I think unbelievable that there's nothing to buy gas on the whole uh, HRP and the last part of the G11, which we will walk. Yeah, we are really looking forward to this beautiful mountain landscape on the HRP. But firstly, we have to go through a lot of valleys on the next days. This will mean a lot of ascent and descent. I think yesterday we did like 2000 meters of descent. Today we have more than 2000 meters of ascent ahead, I think. And 1000 down um, with all the weight. Our legs will hurt tomorrow, I think. <laughs> But we really enjoy the nature, especially in the morning. Look at this beautiful clouds over there. Just awesome. Thank you. 